Hello. Hello! Welcome to another episode of After School Kids Lab. Every Wednesday, we post a video of us doing something fun, whether it be a craft, a science experiment, a skill, or a game. This week, we are going to be making kinetic paper creations. And basically what that means is paper crafts that move. We have a couple projects that we want to show you. Here are the things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need paper. We have different colors of paper here, but you could use plain paper as well. Also, for one of our crafts, you're going to need straws. We have some paper straws here, so they're actually made of paper too. And also, if you would like to decorate your paper creations, you might want something like crayons or markers. I also forgot to mention, you will need scissors. Remember that all After School Kids Lab projects require adult permission and supervision, especially when using sharp objects like scissors. We're gonna be making two paper creations today, but of course, if you'd like to learn about other paper creations, we have lots of books at the Bettendorf Public Library that can teach you how to make crafts using paper. Let's get started. The first kinetic paper creation we are making is fairly simple. You start by folding a piece of paper over about an inch or an inch and a half. Then cut along the folded line so you have a small strip of paper. Next, you will fold this paper in half like so. Unfold the paper and fold both ends of the paper to the center fold. Fold the ends to the center line once more and then fold the two halves together. Next, you will use scissors to curve the corners of your paper rectangle. This can be a bit tricky because you will be cutting through several layers of paper. You can always ask an adult for help if you are having trouble with this step. Then you will unfold your paper creation. Last, you can use a marker or other writing utensil to add a cute face. Now you have an inchworm. Use your straw to blow on the top of your inchworm to make him inch across a surface. Next, we are making another animal out of our paper. This time, we are making a horse. And unlike the inchworm, this horse will walk. For this craft, you will need the template provided at the link in this post description. You can print out your template on any paper and cut it out. Make sure to cut the legs, arms, and tail slits, as well as along the dotted lines at the bottom of each leg. I made two templates, one with rounded legs and one with slanted legs, so you can experiment with both types. Then you will fold the head and tail in one direction and the legs in the other direction. You can pinch and bend the ends of the paper like so to make the head. For the tail, you will want to curl it upwards with your fingers. This may look silly for a horse, but it will help with balance. Last of all, you need to create a ramp for your horse to walk on. This part we found was a bit of an experiment as well. The trick is to find a surface that isn't too slippery, but also not too rough. Cardboard worked the best for us, but you may find something even better. You will need to do the same for the incline of your ramp. Try different heights to find the one that works for your horse. Also, your horse may not start walking right away. It took us a while to get it rocking back and forth just right. Okay, now it is time for me to ask you some questions. After all, this is After School Kids or Ask Lab. Which craft did you like the most? Personally, the inchworm is my favorite because he is just so cute. Also, did you discover techniques that helped your inchworm or horse move better? My biggest helper figured out a way to make his inchworm slide across the table. I've never seen an actual inchworm move like that, but it sure made his inchworm faster. Next, do you know what forces of motion moved our kinetic paper creations? I'll give you one clue. 
with the paper horse, it has a lot to do with gravity. Last of all, let us know how you did with your kinetic paper creations. Did you end up trying out any other moving paper projects? You can even post a comment, picture, or video on our Facebook post. And don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. We are always happy to hear from all of our After School Kids Lab kids. We hope you enjoyed making kinetic paper creations. Next week, we are going to be learning about the science of DNA using strawberries. Until then, bye!